Welcome to And Then There Were Three. I'm Anna. I'm Kaylee. And I'm Katie. We have a very, very special guest here. <laughs> Her name is Chloe. Everyone say hi, Chloe. <laughs> hi, Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Hello, everyone. <laughs> We're so happy you're here. Happy to be here. <laughs> Chloe, we really wanted to have you on our podcast because you're moving in January down to Sunshine State, Florida. Correct. For a Disney internship because <laughs> yes. you're a Disney yes. adult. Yes. Chloe's yeah. a Disney adult. <laughs> Chloe, I just want to ask you about your Disney adulthood. Of course. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm always, we've always as a friend group been very curious about Disney adults, how they are brought up, why they do what they do. Can you just elaborate <laughs> and, a little bit like, on what Disney means? What makes it not diminish, hmm? you know what I mean? <laughs> like your, your passion for Disney. Like, it what, just, let's oh. talk about how we know Chloe a little bit. Oh. I feel like we were just like, true. Here's Chloe. Oh, true. People don't know who I am. <laughs> Here's Chloe. <laughs> she's like, okay. Here's, Here's Chloe. Chloe. She's, she's a Disney, Disney adult. No. <laughs> <laughs> we just brought on the biggest Disney no adult we knew. story at all. Like, okay, no. we know Chloe from college. She went to the same school I went to, Nebraska, Omaha. And she's about to graduate, too. So lots of exciting things happening for you, yes. Hopefully. Chloe has been around for the past, like, two years. We've been going out together. and We've been having funny laughs. Going to Bach Fest together having dinners at spaghetti works all that fun jazz kissing bon jovi we only kissing see bon her every few months yeah but whatever but when we, we do, do when i come out of the cave yep or when we it's, decide to it's go time. venture it's, down it's go time. it's go time all right well back to the disney adult okay yeah. Yeah. now you can explain there. what why why yeah. disney uh, i just grew up going there with my parents to the parks they <laughs> they loved going in turn, we started to go. We so started do you to go think, every year. So are Disney adults Disney adults because their their parents were also Disney adults? You know, or it's like a trait that's passed down. I don't know, I don't know if it's genetic. Gene. It's a dominant um, trait. I feel like that's a huge part of it. I mean, you also gotta realize like it is a privilege to go there. It's so expensive. Yeah, for sure. So like that's why I get to go because of my mom. She makes big money. Mm -hmm. Thanks, mom. She got that Disney Thanks, money. Mommy. Um, she got that Disney, Disney dough. <laughs> Disney dough. She got that Disney dough. It's ridiculous <laughs> how pricey it is. But yeah, and just my family loves the movies. It's kind of our family's personality trait. When we go down there, everyone's the best version of themselves. <laughs> okay. Um, until, you know, you get a little Disney fight. You say oh. some things you don't mean. <laughs> I wish you were fight. never born. <laughs> like, I've gotten to fight with my family yeah. at Disney World, I actually. Have to. You know, I, have to. Have to. I think I have to, actually. People, like, it's a different type of, like, I hate you. Yeah. And you, like, go off. I think I didn't want to go in the Tower of Terror. <laughs> yes. So, it's, like, a different type of hate. Oh, my God. Yeah. You're exhausted yes. from walking around. You're so around. tired from the heat from walking yep. around. It's hot. It's $5 for a fucking water bottle. Yeah. Oh, my God. Your parents don't want to buy you a treat at no. Disney World. Everything's taken personally. They don't want to wait in line to get a picture with Minnie Mouse. <laughs> Mickey doesn't even fucking look at you as he walks by you're pissed <laughs> god Wait, yeah why does everyone have a funny like disney world story <laughs> i hate i did so not chaotic. like disney world i love disney world. i didn't like roller coasters so i was scared oh <laughs> yeah, what? That'll, yeah that'll get you so if you were to describe yourself as one disney character what would you be oh shit i don't even it's a great question a good question I'm trying to think of the most mentally ill one <laughs> <laughs> i feel like dory Dory, okay. okay. Yeah, she forgets Dory. everything. She forgets. She's really loving. Yeah. Everyone loves her. <laughs> Everyone loves her. Everyone. Everyone loves her. When she's around. She's a fish. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I was a fish. Really? Yeah, yeah all the time. So God, tell us funny. about your internship and what you'll be doing at Disney. Yeah. So the internship is basically um you go down there for a certain amount of time. I'm going down there for five or six months. And I'll be lifeguarding at the Yacht and Beach Club. <laughs> Super Hell exciting. Yeah. It, wasn't my, see some wasn't, shit. it wasn't my dream role, but there's worse. So you don't get to choose what you get to do. No, they literally tell you. So are you lifeguard certified currently? I am not. Uh oh. But <laughs> even if I were, they would make me redo it. Okay. Yeah. You get to do it the Disney way. The Disney way. <laughs> Well, you have experience at Coco Keys. I did work at Coco Keys Water Resort and Hotel Spa. <laughs> What's Not the best story out of Coco Keys? Jesus. This place is so musty. It was so gross. I walked around. I'm like, there's asbestos everywhere. It's gross. It's not up to code. No. Lifeguards couldn't swim. Lifeguards weren't registered. <laughs> One of my managers couldn't swim. What? Yeah, it was horrible. And I was like promoted within like two days of getting hired. Like you show up on time and you can swim. 
the keys to the, <laughs> yeah, the, keys to the castle. You're getting all the damn place. <laughs> yeah. My crazy. Did anything, cra- yeah, would anything oh, yeah. crazy happen? Uh, well, it's not crazy, but it's fucking vile. <laughs> <laughs> like, these are human beings, by the way, like with common sense. So I, it's like wrapping up and my job is to go around and make sure all the guards cleaned up, which they never did. So I walk in the women's bathroom and I'm opening the stalls and I get to the last stall and I look in. Someone had <laughs> missed the toilet and there was a hot doogie on the floor. <laughs> a huge shit. Oh. Like they had made it thus far and they're like, ah, I was close and left. So Not I, close enough. Did they clean it up? Oh yeah. I had to get gloves on, which I had to buy because they didn't have the right ones. There. <laughs> so I put my gloves on, picked up the duty threw it away and i just went home did you ever have to save anyone <laughs> at the coke uh, a water? couple of times yeah it was mostly <laughs> kids who were like i'm tall enough to go on the side and then the guards at the top weren't like no and they'd fly out <laughs> like <laughs> just head start drowning. like starts fumbling in the water and i'm like okay but where fucker. are the parents it's a great question where are the parents <laughs> at the bar getting, getting drunk, drunk. <laughs> at the bar. can you get drunk at coco oh yeah there's bottle service there's a at huge bottle yeah you can get a cabana baby is there is Coco Key still? No, it's closed. Thank okay. God. That should be illegal <laughs> to have your parents getting drunk while your little children are trying to swim. swim. My five year old's going down a tunnel water slide. <laughs> I want to talk about my first impression of you, Chloe. Okay. So it was the year 2020, and it was New Year's Eve night oh going God. into 2021. And so this is the first time you met Chloe. This is the first time I met Chloe. I had met you before this, right? Yeah, I think so. Probably. In passing. Probably. But this was our first this was my first know. night meeting Chloe. And I'm like, hi, like I'm Katie, whatever. And I just got surgery and I couldn't really like bump into people and stuff. So I, Chloe just looks at me and she goes, If anyone tries to touch you tonight, I will personally <laughs> fucking kill them. And I'm like, You're like, who is this? Nice to meet you too. As she's holding a huge like two liter of wine. That's so, what that's what got me. And so well, it was New Year's Eve. We're all like pre gaming like a normal person, and Chloe's over here drinking a whole bottle of Chugging wine. Chugging the wine. <laughs> because before the pre game, we're like, okay, I think we should just drink like a little bit at yeah. the pre game because we're going to go to the bar and get really fucked up. Like we had a table and stuff. Like, yeah. We wanted to save ourselves. We our- wanted to save ourselves till midnight. And Chloe he overhears this and she's holding an empty, giant two liter <laughs> bottle of wine. And it was like, what, what did you guys just say? <laughs> No one all, gave me the memo. We all had like one drink She's before. Like, and Chloe, like, drunk. Chloe drank an entire thing of wine and like wine fucks you up. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I could like as soon as like you guys said that, like my brain <laughs> like I was like up. like I looked in the mirror, I was still doing my makeup and I was like what what dude that's the worst i wasn't right in the email the chain hits. it was i was, in the email. I was not, not in nobody told me i was so, shocked that night was uh, honestly one of my favorite nights of you ever so i definitely we're at, died was it before or after midnight before oh, no, no, it was let's, like at 9 she fucking revived. p.m no. she, she was revived by midnight she was totally okay okay let's dive into the not, story it was like 9 p.m Chloe. when i was blacked out yeah. Yeah. So, so Chloe blacked out upon entrance to the like capital district, which is where we were. Eight. Yeah, like 8 p.m. Yeah, we showed up, at, we showed up early. It was yeah. like 8 p.m. Yeah, because we didn't want to wait in line, which turns out there was none. Anyways, but so we get to our table booth area and we're all like pouring us drinks, getting crazy. There's like a, bu- a bucket or two for the vodka and, and the ice. Yeah. To, to hold it and keep it safe. <laughs> to keep it safe. <laughs> And so all of a sudden, obviously, we go through like one bottle of vodka between the 20 of us very quickly. So, yeah, everything was empty at this point. Just a bucket of ice left. Yeah, just a bucket bucket of ice left. (laughs) And uh, I don't really remember, but I come back to Chloe (laughs) face down in the ice bucket. (laughs) Girls down bad. It's like nine o'clock. We got three more hours to midnight, baby. The sun isn't even down. down yet chloe's <laughs> face is down in the ice bucket and i'm like who is that and then, <laughs> you have this photo of her she's like she's like, her she's, face yeah, we're like chloe looking. she's like lifting her face up there's shit all over her face her like, mascara is running because yeah, it was in ice she was throwing up <laughs> makeup was all gone was throwing up in the ice bucket yes <laughs> <laughs> she was throwing up in our ice bucket um at, um, the, at the table which also which got ended other up use. being a community <laughs> broke ice bucket because our friend Grant also threw up in it. And, and so then a random is- girl. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> there was a random girl there too. So, okay, the ice bucket, like the legend continues because one of our friends 
a guy friend at our table as well threw up in it. So like the bucket at the end of the night ended up being like full, full of puke, puke. <laughs> like full to the brim. Like whoever was the server, I night, was security I guard, so, so bad, so sorry because. <laughs> The ice bucket was like there was no ice. It was, it was horrible. It was, it was just and then the at the very very end of the night, this girl was passed out, mouth open in our at our <laughs> table. It was like a giant fur coat on. No one knows who she is. And we like woke her up, and then I think she proceeded to also puke in the <laughs> ice bucket. Yeah, we're like, like no one knew what was going. We're like, who she was. We have to go. Yeah. <laughs> at least it was contained. Yes, you know true. I mean? At least yeah. it wasn't all over. all over the place. Not trying to say like go puke in a nice book. My favorite part of the night though was after Chloe like kind of gets revived and wakes up from her blackout. She starts going around the table and like asks people if they're okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> she was like, "Wait, is everyone? Are you guys okay?" You we're like, you "Bitch, guys? you were just throwing up in the ice bucket. Why are you asking us if we're, we're like, okay?" Bitch, are you okay? I was like, "Maybe they won't notice that I was just dying." <laughs> as long as you're like making sure. Yeah, other like, people. oh, uh, that was. I don't know. She what that was overcompensating. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. <laughs> and then I revived so, and got my New Year's kiss. So if you get blacked out and have to revive, just ask everyone if they're okay. Gaslight like them into thinking yes. that they are not yeah, okay. Yeah. Gaslight, like, always. You blacked out. That wasn't me. <laughs> this New Year's? You're the crazy one and you imagine that, okay? Yeah, that is not my throat. I've been this whole night. I also took a picture of you over the bathroom stall. You remember that picture too? <laughs> is that the one where I'm like on the toilet like sobbing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And it's but like at a jump first, scare. I accidentally went to the wrong stall, <laughs> and I took a picture of a girl, like a random girl, <laughs> over the stall, and I was like, "Am I going to jail?" <laughs> It, she was so mad like she wasn't like naked or anything yeah. but like she was like about ready to go pee and i was like ha chloe and i put my phone above the stall to take a picture like a snapchat of her and it just was not chloe. i looked at it and i was like that is not chloe <laughs> and then i went to the next stall and it was chloe and then i got this awesome picture of her just like i do like falling. that photo it was on my tinder for a while Shut what? Up. I, not even joking. I thought it was so funny so after that you had like kind of a love interest and right after that new year's did you have a bed no yeah no the shrek bay he like a little bit but not really because i was so embarrassed like i think i self-sabotaged because i felt so bad wait was because he at the, shrek? the new year's was thing? he there oh at new year's he was there and that was your yeah. kiss yes what i never saw this happen which that <laughs> the recovery for me that was amazing is he uggo it was like game no super cute oh he, i, I just... never saw him yeah <laughs> did it happen? <laughs> did it happen? Yeah. It happened. Wait, like, like did it happen? So did you kiss? Yeah. Later the night? Yes. Shrek? <laughs> yes. Is that the Shrek man? Yes. Can you dive into the Shrek story? I am a little embarrassed about that, actually. But yeah. <laughs> you so, don't have to go full you detail. Don't have to full detail. Okay. So <laughs> I was wanting smoochies at night. <laughs> and I have this thing where like I need noise. Yeah. So I was like, I'll just throw on something. And on Hulu, there was Shrek. Great film. Yeah, like you need a little, yeah. A little so I, I, I flipped it you on. Can't hook up in complete silence. Yeah, so I flipped I, it on. I flipped it on, <laughs> and we're we're kissing, and I don't know what <laughs> took over my soul and my body, <laughs> but I started to repeat or go over the dialogue in the movie as while it was happening as you're hooking up with them. Yeah, it's so like in between kisses, I'd be like. Do oh, you know a muffin man? <laughs> and then I'd start kissing him again, and then like it was my part again. Who oh, lives on Drury Lane? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I was like, I was, he, was he into it? Or I asked him the next day, and he's like, I think you just really needed a win. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> like, I think you really just needed a win that night. Yeah, I after did. Puking I bucket. did. After dying, oh, I felt and like reviving. Jesus. You turned into Jesus, and then you turned into I had Shrek. A, I had a better resurrection time, though. You were yeah. literally it didn't the take muffin me three man. Days. I was the muffin man. And I Tell me I'm am. the muffin man. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'm the muffin man so I know it's My real. <laughs> Reciting Shrek. Dresses Shrek. During Call hookups. Me. If you look like Shrek, Shrek cosplay, what would you do if you're like about to hook up with someone and he shows up, like opens the door in a full on Shrek? And outfit? he is the ogre. Yeah, I probably give it a give it a try. <laughs> give it a college try. Give it the old college you gotta try. try everything once. Yeah, especially hooking up with Shrek. Oh yeah, shout out ogres. <laughs> 
not in my swamp. Anna chooses one thing is like shout out for no shout reason. Out to Anna's always yogurt. like shout out hydro <laughs> The other day, or not the other day, when we when I was with Jack, he was like, "Why does Anna always say shout out whatever?" And I was like, "I, I don't know." Paid sponsor. Shout out, no free shout out. <laughs> no paid sponsor. Paid sponsor. Shrek. Sponsor Shrek. Shrek. Sponsor. We actually Shrek five out in Shrek theaters. Here. He's coming into the Shrek studio. Coming Anna's gonna Shrek get five. famous and like her only way to um like do a sponsorship video is just intermittently Shrek. Shout out Kaylee. Thanks for that interjection. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh my gosh, Chloe, the stories about you go on and on. Um what was what was the other one that we wanted to talk about? Oktoberfest. Yeah. Shh. That so was, uh, we talked about a little bit in my book. We talked about a little bit on uh, with some of the previous pods how we were at Bachfest, Oktoberfest. You maybe heard us talk about that a little bit, but Oktoberfest one year, Chloe really was the star of the show. I don't remember being, but so the night before. <laughs> okay, wait. For those of you who don't, have we even explained what it is? <clears throat> kind of. It's basically just a parking lot festival. It's a German festival in the parking lot of We're, a bar in Omaha, the Nebraska. Crescent Moon. Where normally families go, but our friend group just shows up and ruins it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. And so it was the night before Oktoberfest. And we were at Spaghetti Works having the time of our freaking lives. And for some reason, a rumor started that Bon Jovi <laughs> was going to be performing at Oktoberfest. Yes. Because Bon Jovi was like in town the night before. And performing so, at CHI. Like a, a, <laughs> not a large, not a parking not a 17,000 person yeah. arena. Um, so we were at Spaghetti Works talking about Bon Jovi. Mm -hmm. And then the next day... We started a rumor accidentally that actually spread very far. far. Very far. far. We had everyone at this festival <laughs> thinking Bon Jovi was, was going like to open up for the very boys band. Out through the <laughs> Wait, is that Nickelback? <laughs> That's Nickelback. <laughs> Living on a Jump prayer. Don't Bon Jovi <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> My mom showed her titties at a Bon Jovi concert. Oh, wow. So I feel like I had jurisdiction to start the rumor. Yeah. Yeah. So Oktoberfest, everyone wears those fun Drindle. Drindles. Love my Drindle. So Chloe's You've decked never out. washed it. I forgot to. <laughs> and forgot to forever. I washed it for this past year. I didn't even wear it. I was pissed. Aww. I washed this shit for nothing. <laughs> didn't even wear it. Dry didn't clean my Drindle. I was there for an hour. <laughs> Special dry so, cleaning. So Chloe, what did you pregame with this time? I I want to like I'm pretty like 100 percent sure it was another two liter bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Never it's only right. It's it only was right. another two bottle. I just I like buying those because they taste good and they're cheap. Yeah, and, and they get the job done. Yeah, and I know they're gonna make Clearly. my soul and you're leave gonna be my on body. your ass in about 30 minutes. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, short and time, it, but it, yeah, it'll be a good time. And it creates great stories. Apparently. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> so uh, we're at Oktoberfest and Chloe is trying to like pave her way towards us yeah. to come say hi because I don't think we had seen you yet. No. I I Since came the with festival. I came with uh like three people. Yeah. Yes. I and left, so, yeah, I left the house semi sober. We and were then, sitting down because everyone was watching mm -hmm. the stupid Husker game that was playing. No one was like really having fun. And no one was drunk yet besides Chloe. Besides Chloe. And so Chloe's wearing her drindle, very drunk, and uh, <laughs> is like trying to get to us, but like, but, like, but, like touching everyone everywhere. in her path. <laughs> like and falling so over tables these, and chairs. These guys literally thought that Chloe worked at the festival because she was wearing her drindle. Because she was wearing a drindle and like, touching them so like These guys looked at us they're like does this girl work no, here the guy literally started handing chloe like leftover trash <laughs> leftover trash and was like here because he thought that like she was touching him to be like hey like let Can me I grab, grab your stuff <laughs> no she's, no, really she's just blacked girl. out i need to get to my friends <laughs> <laughs> she was just black the fuck out so bad oh my god i was peeing my pants when i saw that happen because i like knew the guy too uh -huh. and i see him hand you his plate and i'm like, Sir, like she what the not hell here? is like, going what on what's happening she's a patron actually <laughs> and she's just fucked up this is my october fest actually <laughs> leave her alone I i'm the opening act for bon jovi. Bon, jovi. <laughs> bon jovi said he couldn't make it so i'm here <laughs> i remember and oh, you go ahead i was gonna say people were like coming up to us like asking about bon jovi and they were like yes and then people they acted like it, we coordinated him like, to be there no, also, you have a schedule right <laughs> it also went so far to where other people were telling us our own rumors yes. <laughs> 
did you, did you guys hear? <laughs> like, like other no people way. People at the festival were like, "Did you hear Bon Jovi's coming?" And we we're like, "Yes, we did." <laughs> like, I can't believe this. <laughs> oh my god, I fucking forgot about that. That was so funny. I'm gonna say it. Shout, Shout out, out Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. <laughs> Shout, out bon Jovi. Shout out Bon Jovi. Chloe, you get in a lot of funny dating life situation. What was the one? There was a Tinder date or something. This is my favorite story to tell because it's still the most like bad. I think it's my most recent. I haven't dated in like two years. But so I, I met this boy on Tinder, blah, blah, blah. I go over to his place. Not very smart. But like normally if I think I can take them, I go. <laughs> Physically? Yeah. <laughs> like like <laughs> beat them up? Yeah. Okay. Like in a fight. I have my police baton on me, pepper spray. <laughs> You bring, yeah, you bring, you bring a that? Baton? Yeah, it's in my purse right now. Is it, it like expands. <laughs> I'll fucking out. beat someone's ass. Bring Should I out. grab it? Yes, please grab it. Where is it? The camera's right there. <laughs> Pretend that that's how far does this thing shoot out? It's gonna like break the camera. I'm gonna kill Have you ever had to use it? You- no. <laughs> Hey, someone come, someone attack me. And what I'm if wide. it shoots Whoa. up? Whoa. <laughs> I'm always ready. I pass that around. Yeah. Oh, sh- this is heavy. Yeah. So what's the point of it? What do you mean? <laughs> Beat someone's ass with it if they try to touch you. You come up to me you in a parking lot at night. <laughs> you need something sharper. <laughs> like a knife? Yeah. No. A knife baton. I yeah. feel like it'd be more fun to beat someone's ass with. Hi, that. I'm Kaylee, and you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a wand. It does. It looks like a giant wand. This is awesome. Yeah, I love it. All right, so you enter this right. home with the baton. I, I, I what had gotten me on this date in the first place is because he had a kitten. <laughs> <laughs> Never a good way to say yes to a date. And I was like, okay, well, I'm coming over. So I walk in and he doesn't like he's fine looking. I don't really judge because I look the way I do. <laughs> <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> so, so I walk in and there's a kitten and I was like, okay, at least that's real. Cool. Check. <laughs> and he's got a really cute dog. I'm like, double check, cute. And then he starts being fucking weird. <laughs> that escalated so real he, like quickly. he like sits me down and he's like so i can you know how was your day how long is this into your date like five minutes and the date's okay. just going to his house <laughs> yeah and it's watching a movie and he picked the most horrific thing i've ever seen my entire fucking life <laughs> what, what what was i couldn't even tell you because it was so bad Shrek. i was watching it and i was like blacking out i was like i went so far was into my scary sub- no it was like a comedy movie okay. i think it's about these like potheads that like get caught in this like ecological dome and they mess the experiment up <laughs> i was like this is stupid whatever but red flag he, number one red flag second red flag is when he started he was like oh i i don't know if i told you this and i was like Fuck. like five minutes into the date yeah like within minutes he's like by the way and he's in military i want to that's an important detail he's a military guy so he goes by the way i didn't tell you this i think i forgot <laughs> um i'm divorced and i was like oh like i didn't want to judge because i you know military is a crazy crazy breed yeah and he's like yeah like she cheated on me in alaska i was like okay and then he goes my um second wife was over this morning getting her things we're also getting a divorce and i oh, was so trying to do some math there <laughs> like so two divorces by 23 uh, oh and you know she cheated on me with my younger brother and i was just like uh mike fucking drop i i <laughs> I, I literally go like ross from friends <laughs> that's the first thing that came to mind i'm like so you like rest from friends <laughs> that was how you like so did you give him like a petty kiss or hell no i told him this ring i'm wearing right now was a purity ring and then i don't do anything <laughs> so i don't want him fucking touching me <laughs> two divorces and he his, two divorces i was second like, or the first wife fucked his brother the first wife fucked someone else second wife fucked, fucked his brother. brother damn so what yeah. is wrong with him betrayal i don't know but I did not want to stick around and find out. Yeah. If everyone's cheating on you, why would I want to hook up? I with was you? thinking the entire time, I'm like, maybe you should like take a break from dating. Yeah. You maybe you should talk to a lives. therapist and not a girl you just met on Tinder. I think <laughs> I just like trauma therapy. Drunk, yeah. You? It's like, by the way, I fucking hate myself and my brother has a big dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Let's open that one up. <laughs> 
Is your brother single? <laughs> no? Okay. Yeah, shit. Is your brother better? Yeah, fuck. Sounds like it. Yeah. What, do you have any other funny dating stories? I Probably. I remember I went on a date with a guy. He invited me out. We went to Rice Bowl, my favorite place. Shout out Rice Bowl, Saddle Creek. Um, Shout out! (laughs) Shout out! Shout out Rice Bowl. (laughs) So he invited me out, which is fine. Which, but to me, that means like you're going to pay for it. Yeah. So we sat down, we're eating, the bill comes, and he like, it gets set down between us. And Rice Bowl isn't that expensive. And I'm okay with paying for things. Yeah. The way he like, he like, it's set down, and he like looked at me. And I looked at him. <laughs> oh no. And then he gets up and goes to the bathroom. <laughs> so I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm good at reading things. So I pay. And then he goes, You want to come back to my place? And I was So you paid for your, you and him? Yeah, and I was so down bad for Dick that I went back and fucked him. <laughs> <laughs> He got to he got to have his cake and eat it too. So good for him. God damn it. Good for him. Is that what he does every time he takes a girl on a date? He, I'm sure. He just gets up and goes to the bathroom. Yeah, I got to go to the bathroom. By the way, I got to take it. And then like he kind of got agitated a little bit when he came back. He was like, "You paid?" You left. Were you paying the is there an, is there an ATM in the bathroom right now? <laughs> For some reason, Chloe has a list on her notes. Most people write, you know, the names of guys they hook up with, whatever. Names of their future children. Names of their future children. No, Chloe Nemo. has a list on her phone <laughs> of her funeral must-haves and also has a Pinterest board of it. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, weirdly obsessed with death. Not in, like, a, like, I don't want to die. Not anymore. It's more so, <laughs> it's more so, like, I want... I want things done the right way. Okay. Because if mm-hmm. I, I might be there, I might not. Respectfully, like, you you know what you want for your funeral. Yeah, Most it's people like, want to know what, what their wedding's going to be like. I don't give you. a shit about that. Yeah. No one's going to that. I don't even know if I'm going to go to that. <laughs> but I will be at my funeral. Yeah, that's a guarantee. All so, right. number one that's on my list is open casket with my eyes open. Oh, my. Oh. Chloe. A little spooky, <laughs> ain't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number two, I want a hired group or a person dressed in all black who'll come up to my casket and utter, it should have been me, old friend, or this was never personal. <laughs> Loud enough so people hear it. I want there to be some... Some drama. Like, oh, what did he just say? <laughs> Three, I want to look snatched in my casket. Yeah. Mm. That's a that's a, Bouncer at the Get door. Get you a BBL before. Number four. Oh, yeah. Bouncer at the door, invite only. I don't want randos. <laughs> How did you know Chloe? Like, where, where's I need three photos on your Instagram right now of her. <laughs> Five cocktail hour followed by reception. Wow. Okay. <laughs> like a wedding. Six. I want a public showcase of my best moments, and they can be real or not real. So, like, Photoshop me with Elton John in 1987. Like, that's cool. I'd be okay with that. <laughs> okay. Seven. A video played that I recorded before my death. Contents contents will remain a secret until its showcase. Possibly a riddle. Maybe a little. <laughs> In parentheses, possibly a riddle. Possibly a riddle. <laughs> to like find something? Yeah, like my will. Okay. Are you going to have like a scavenger hunt to your will? Yes. Well, do you have I already it already? Read it. I already read it. Do you have the video already? No. Okay. I that I need to make sure I look good when I film that. Okay. But I need, you're right. I need to get on that. Do you like, yeah. uh, are you going to update each year you're alive? <laughs> I think I'll probably do a couple. I don't change, I don't plan on changing. We can my... record it here at Herd at Media. Perfect. And have slides <laughs> yeah. like, it's a real production. Can have some real production done. It's going to be like a dramatic, like, hello, I'm Chloe. <laughs> and I know you're at my funeral. <laughs> I know you're at my funeral right now. And little Bobby in the back, I can see you sweating. <laughs> Someone who walks up to my casket who looks eerily similar to me to keep people on their toes. Did she fake her death? maybe <laughs> let's see absolutely no priests none <laughs> um my deathbed confessions display like the opening sequence of star wars okay like who i killed who i yeah. didn't um my body must be buried in an underground tomb only to go missing three days after my death <laughs> that sounds familiar and tr- yeah it does doesn't it i wonder what happened to his body i don't know <laughs> <laughs> are you serious Jesus Christ. <laughs> Have you oh. never fucking heard of him? <laughs> Kaylee actually he has a whole fucking book written about him. <laughs> it's called the fucking Bible. <laughs> Kaylee literally. Do you even know who his dad is? <laughs> okay. I've never even 
What about- I thought you guys were talking about some story. I mean, you were, but <laughs> some biblical story. I'm like, what am I? What I, am I, I, I I'm missing I, something. I can't even laugh because of how ridiculous that was. Shout out Jesus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number 12, a list of final curses on people, places, and things I cast in moments before my death. <laughs> I'm really hoping that I have time to do these things before I die. Okay, 13, a hologram projection of me dancing, which we played at the after party. <laughs> Last one, some of my DNA will be saved just in case re reanimation or cloning is possible. Mm. I don't want to be reincarnated. That shit's exhausting, but I do like the idea of like a ghost version of me out there on the earth. There's no Disney. No, no, Disney. they'll fucking sue you. Really? The, yeah. <laughs> wow. If you put your anything on your casket on your tombstone with their Disney shit, they'll get you. They'll sue you. They'll sue you. How wow. do you know that? I just do. The mouse told me Walt Disney <laughs> in my sleep. Shout out. Shout out Walt Disney. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out Jesus, the Muffin Man, Shrek, Dark Fest, Jesus Christ, Rice Bowl. Kaylee Gates. Bon Jovi. <laughs> oh, bon Jovi. Thank you so much for joining us. We, we love, love you so you much. Have so much fun in Florida. Yeah. We'll miss you all. Come we'll visit. Miss you I, get, all. I, get, <laughs> I get discounts on everything. 50% off hotels. I'm going to oh, be yeah. there with my mouse show. ears. Yeah. yeah, we'll be there. We're going to be there and have Disney a really... We we can, we We're going to go there and have a really big fight. We can get drunk at Epcot and then Hell have yeah. a huge fight. Don't get physical though because they will ban you. And I cannot risk that. <laughs> cannot. Don't bring the baton. Don't bring the baton.